welcome back to my channel. So I know that I've been gone for the past couple of weeks um, and I haven't uploaded a video since my smoky brown eye tutorial. Um, I've been really, really busy and even though I really, really wanted to um, film a video for you guys, I just couldn't find the time to do it. But, but I am back today and I am back in full effect. And today I am using the new Lorac Pro Mega Palette. Too, and I love this palette. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I picked this up um, a couple days ago. Was it a couple days ago? I would say. Well, anyways, sometime this week, I picked this one up, and I'm so glad that I did. I was actually going back and forth between the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and this Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette, um, but I ended up getting this one because I felt that I could use it more on a day-to-day -day basis and there were more colors for me to choose from and I just felt like it was more bang for my buck. So I went with this one and I'm so glad that I did because I really, really love this palette. So yeah, that is my quick little review on this thing. But uh, if you guys want to know how to get this look that I'm wearing today for you, then please keep on watching. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe any of those three and let me know um, in the comments what you guys want to see next or anything like that so yeah anyways I'm gonna stop talking now so let's just get on to the tutorial hey guys so I'm starting off a little differently today I'm gonna do my brows and I'm using the Tarte Amazonian brow mousse in the color medium brown and I use three different brushes for my brows a Bedellium 764 an elf flat eyeliner brush and a MAC 266 brush. And with the 266 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and outline the base of my brow and then the tail of my brow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill everything in with no additional product. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill everything in with the product that I have on my brush. And then I'm gonna lightly fill in the top, the front of my brow ever so slightly. Now I'm taking my Ardell Brow Palette and the medium brown shade and I'm using my Bedellium 764 and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brow further. And now with my e.l.f. flat eyeliner brush and my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC30, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the base of my brow and also acts as a highlighter as well. And I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up and then blend all the concealer out with my brush and my finger. And now I'm taking my Shadow Insurance Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and I'm gonna prime my eyelids before I start putting on some color. And now for my Lorac Mega Pro palette, I'm gonna take the color Disc and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that color all over my eyelid as a base. With my MAC 224 brush. And now I'm taking the color Sugar and a flat eyeliner brush, or not an eyeliner brush, a shader brush, a flat shader brush. I got this one at Sephora. Um, and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. And now with the color Tawny and my MAC 224 brush, I'm gonna blend this color as a transition, transition shade in my crease. And with the color Saddle, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen up my crease just a little bit more using the same MAC 224 brush. And now I'm taking the color Forest, which is a really pretty um, olive green color on my MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna apply that on the outer V of my eye and I'm gonna work um, little by little here because I don't wanna add too much product at one time. So I'm gonna take a little bit of product and um, deepening it deepening it up as I go and blending it out a little bit with my MAC 224 brush just to make sure I don't have any harsh lines. And then I'm going to keep repeating this process until I get the desired depth that I want. Now with the color Olivine, which is a pretty metallic-y um, olive color, I'm going to use that on my Morphe M210 brush and apply that on the um, lid 
and I thought it wasn't deep it, I thought it wasn't intense enough so I used some fix plus on my brush and now with the color what color was that tangerine I'm gonna go ahead and blend out um, or I'm gonna apply that in my crease a little bit more to blend everything out and I'm just taking my Mac 220 brush and I'm just applying a little bit more of the forest green on my outer V And now with a clean makeup wipe, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe the edge of my eye makeup so I can have a clean, sharp line there. You can actually use scotch tape for this, but I was too lazy, so I just used a uh, makeup uh, wipe for that. Um, and now with my NYC liquid eyeliner, you guys know this is my favorite, I'm just going to go ahead and wing out my liner. And I'm taking the makeup wipe and I'm just cleaning up the edge of my eyeliner so I can have a wing that's sharp enough to cut a you know what. <laughs> now some mascara. Just gonna apply that to my top lashes and moving on to the foundation, I'm taking my Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge and I really, really love this sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC Nourishing Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong in the colors NC35 and NC42 And I'm just gonna apply that all over my face And now I'm taking the color Tangerine and Saddle and I'm just putting that under my eye Or on my bottom lash line And blending it out and now I'm taking the color Olivine a little fix plus on that brush I'm using the MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm just going to apply it on the inner third of my bottom lash line. Now for some lashes. I'm taking my Ardell Demi's in 120. And I absolutely love these lashes. I use them all the time. Lashes. I can't talk today. I use them all the time. Um, they're like my favorite. They're a little bit shorter on the front, but then they wisp out at the end. It's not like the wispies where it's just all pretty much one length. Um, but yeah, I love the wispies too. But I'm using the 120s today. I think they went perfectly for this look. I really do need to find some other lashes though. These are like my go-to lashes. And I like to press my lashes up a little bit once I'm done applying them, just to give them a little bit more oomph, you know, a little zhuzh. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and highlight under my eyes, um, and anywhere that I feel I need to be highlighted, such as my forehead, bridge of my nose, things of that nature. And I'm gonna go ahead and Blend everything out with my uh, Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge. And I really, really love that it has like a flat part to it. It actually makes blending out my under eye just a little bit easier. And I feel like the flat part really presses in like the foundation or concealer like onto my skin. So that's another reason why I really, really love this sponge. And now for my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes and bake just a little bit. I haven't been baking too crazy these days. I find that I just like to do it just a little bit. And it does a job, so I'm going to go ahead and set everything pretty much on my face, actually. And now with my Sigma F20 brush, I believe, I'm going to just clean up all the excess powder in my eyes, under my eyes I should say. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. And with my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and bronze my forehead and contour a little bit with this also. 
And with my NARS Eda brush, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose using the same bronzer. And with my MAC, I think this is the NC20 or NW20 nude pencil. It's just a nude pencil. I'm just gonna apply that on my waterline just to open my eyes a little bit more. And with my ColourPop, this was part of the fall collection, this blush. I forgot the name, but I will put it down below. I'm gonna apply that on my cheeks using my MAC blush brush. And with my Morphe M501 brush and my Hourglass highlighter in ambient light, I'm just gonna apply that on the tops of my cheekbones. And I've been really loving this highlighter again because it just gives me a nice subtle highlight. With Strip Down and Kinda Sexy Lipstick, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. And then, um, yeah, that should be uh, pretty much the final look after I apply this lipstick here. Oh, and I decided that I needed a little bit of highlight on the tops of my, or on my Cupid's bow. I just applied a little bit of the same highlighter. And now I'm just spritzing my face with Fix Plus. And that is pretty much it. That's the final look, you guys. I really, really hope that you like this tutorial. If you do, please comment, like, or subscribe. And yeah, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. So today, I did not want to say that. I know in that hotline blink I can only mean one thing Ever since I left this